say that we're falling off late Maybe we just ain't been on the same page Hi guys, welcome back to another video If you're new here, thanks so much for joining And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much Come again, another day and another one and another one So today, we are getting out of our box Getting out of our comfort zone And trying out new things so I don't normally gravitate towards print, but thanks to my sister, we're working with print today. And it's also the first time that I'm making a bustier. Leave comments down below on ways I could make it better or on videos that you've seen that have worked for you. So that next time I can make a better one for myself and also for a client. So this is the fabric that we're working with. It has a very pretty blueprint. Placed all the patterns on the fabric. The front of the shot is shorter than the back, so it's a high-low shot. So the first step was adding the fusible interfacing to, to the waistband. And to get a more tapered waistband, remember to, to draft the pattern curved. The waistband was less flimsy. So I sewed along the shorter side of the waistband that is going to be the top. Then next, I hemmed all the parts of the shorts, the front and the back. And now I was ready to join everything together. I sewed along the center front of the shorts. And then I also did the same for the back. And then I added a zip to the front of the shorts. Now that that was done, it was time to sew the sides finished joining all the sides and then I went on to the crotch and this is how the shots looked at this point next step was adding pockets who doesn't love pockets in clothes so I cut out the patterns for the pocket marked out the length of the pocket opening and sewed all around leaving the pocket opening untouched and then this is how it turned out then I marked out the length of the pocket opening on the sides of the shorts and then I ripped out the side seam and this is how it looked at this point. I was going to join the extra half an inch allowance at the pocket opening to the seam allowance on the side of the shorts. Turn the shorts inside out and then I attached the same allowance at the pocket opening to the same allowance of the shorts with the right sides facing each other and i did the same for both sides and this is how everything turned out so now we move on to the waist i added pleats to both sides of the front and the back and now the waist was more tapered to my size. I accounted for the pleats while I was drafting the pattern. So I drafted with a larger waist size so that I could accommodate the pleats later on. Then I decided to add tulle. Now the tulle is optional, but I decided to add it to make the shorts fuller. So since I added tulle, which again is optional, I covered it up with a circle skirt lining just because I find the tulle texture very irritating on the skin. And I created this circle skirt lining just to cover it up. After finishing off the lining, I added on the waistband and this is how everything turned out for the shorts. <laughs> So first for the bustier, I drafted a pattern. Remember, this is the first time, so the pattern was not foolproof. So I cut off all the pattern pieces and then I cut the fabric and also did the same for the lining. Then I joined all the pattern pieces except the cups for the main fabric and also the lining. I then sewed together the cups and attached all the cups to their corresponding lining 
with the right sides facing each other i sewed at the top and this is how everything turned out the body to the bustier i placed both the lining and the fabric right sides facing each other and then i sewed along the top all the way to the back and this is how everything turned out and at this point i ironed down the seams just to ensure everything is neat i then made a last minute decision to add brackets which were actually smaller than the actual pattern but they worked anyway so with the right sides of the main fabric and the lining facing each other i placed the bra cap on top and then i sewed along the top of the bra cap just to attach it and this is how everything turned out when i turned the fabric back in place so the next step was attaching the caps to the body so i pinned everything in place like so and then i sewed along the whole length of the cap to attach it so the next step is covering up the area that we joined the caps to the body but also this will be where the underwire will go and this method that i used did not work because the underwire kept moving and it wasn't as stable as i would have liked it to be so i pinned so i pinned everything down like this and sewed all around it to cover it up and this is how it looked like after so the next step was finishing up the lining so i started with the edges on the side with the right sides facing each other i sewed along that length for both sides then it was now time to finish off the bottom i tucked everything inside just to have the right side of the lining and the right side of the fabric facing each other and then i aligned all the seams with that finished i then sewed along the length of the bottom leaving a space to overturn everything once i'm done after i turned everything back in place i finished off that small space that i left so the next step was adding the boning channels i've seen that people sew them to the lining first and then attach the lining to the fabric but i decided to add mine on top and i'll try the other technique in a different project so i measured every boning channel that i needed and then i sewed them down and it was time to add the bonings to the channels after that was done i added these loops for the closure string at the back and then i decided to add straps which was a last minute decision and this is how everything turned out after i completed this project I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below. I appreciate that. So I'll see you on my next video.